Hey beautiful souls, thank you so much for being here and welcome. My name is Danielle. So today's pick a card topic is their fears, or sorry, their hopes versus their fears about your connection. So we're going to take a look at their hopes first and then we'll dive into the fears, get some oracle cards and I will be ending with channeled messages and of course the astrology dice and initial tiles for extra confirmation. Now, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, my two most popular, as well as my newest edition, are all linked at the top of my description box. You can also visit my website, which is down, I want to say, towards the bottom of the description box. There's a link on the YouTube banner, um, or you can just go to divinehealingpath.com. All right, so yeah, you know what? Let's just dive in, shall we? Okay, so for group one, you have the Modern Witch Tarot with this Desert Rose. Group two, you have the Lapis Lazuli Cube with the Mermaid Tarot. And group three, I believe this is Morganite uh, with the, oh, what is this? Tarot of the Divine. All right, so you can choose based on the deck or the crystal, whatever works for you. And I will see you guys at your reading. Your timestamps are in the middle of the description box or pinned in the comment section. All right, see you there. Hey group one, you chose the Desert Rose with the Modern Witch Tarot, welcome. All right, let's dive in. I do want to say, which I forgot to say in the beginning, um, if you were feeling a little overwhelmed right now or maybe sad, the fear part might not be, I don't know, the best or this might not be like the best topic for you to watch. However, I will say everyone has fears, everyone. And it's, I feel like it's, yeah, they can hold us back, but it's not, it's not something that's really going to, to me, it's not such a big deal. <laughs> and I'm like, it's like, okay, spit it out. But yeah, what I'm trying to say is everyone has them. We all have our fears. We all have our bad days. And just because your person has some fears doesn't mean that, you know, things aren't going to unfold for you or it's never going to happen. I feel that, honestly, it's just completely natural to have fears. And anyone that tells you that they don't have any fears whatsoever, um, I wonder if they're human. Because maybe they just periodically, like, make a whirring noise and shut down for a couple hours. Because, yeah, I've personally never met anyone on this planet who has not had some fear whatsoever. You can have an, even a secure attachment style and still have occasional fears or negative thoughts. Everyone has them and it's okay. And I feel like it should be normalized that it's okay to have these feelings or even fears. I personally feel like it's whatever you, it depends on what you do with the fears, right? Like if you let it control your life, then it will be harder to um, move in the direction of your desire. But I've personally found when I've faced fears myself, um, it has gotten to a point where I was basically faced with choosing either my fear or desire. And honestly, not choosing, moving in the direction of the thing I want caused even more fear than, you know, not moving in that direction, if that makes sense. So basically what I'm trying to say is this is, it's natural. It's, it's okay. So don't, uh, I wouldn't read too much into the fear part. And remember, anything that doesn't resonate, just get rid of it. 
All right, I guess I really should have just opened with that at the beginning of the intro. I don't know if I'm going to say it for the other two groups. It's a lot. Okay. So, what is group one's person's hopes about this connection with group one? What are their hopes? All right, we have the three of pentacles. Oh, too many. Queen of Swords. The World. All right. Travel could be involved for some of you. You may live uh, long distance. This could be long distance connection. Judgments. We have Saturn with Cancer. Or sorry, Capricorn coming through. And we have Scorpio. We have the Eight of Swords, the Tower, we have Aries and Mars, or, er, oh my goodness, what is wrong with me today? Aries and Scorpio. Gemini with the Lovers, and Four of Swords. Okay, we do have Strong Air Energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Strong Scorpio coming through. All right. Okay. So, group one, I feel like you are at some sort of a distance with your person right now and they're stressing out about this. Um, it could even be the fact that it's a physical distance between the two of you. I do see that this distance has caused some turmoil and maybe even a bit of um, insecurities, fears. I know we're in we're in hopes here, but <laughs> there are some fears. Your person strongly hopes that the two of you can resolve whatever's whatever this distance is. They want to close this gap between the two of you. I feel like they want to make amends. They want to reconcile with you. I feel like some of you may have had like um, a really abrupt falling out. I feel like the two of you had this very close connection with one another at one point um, and truly bonded and loved each other. And honestly, I still feel like the two of you love each other here with the, the world and the lovers. I feel like this is a connection based on unconditional love, but something happened here that caused an abrupt change. It could have been an argument. It could have been somebody moved away as well, suddenly. But I feel like this is like the, the heart, the core of the, the issue between the two of you guys. So if that's not resonating, it might not be your story. Um... But yeah, they want to come back. They want to... I feel like I'm getting they want to share the truth with you. They want to make things right and they want to break the silence. They really hope that the two of you can close out, talk about whatever's happened between the two of you and close out that cycle and um, begin a new cycle. They want to start over with you, start fresh here. So I do want to clarify some things all right i've got a really squeaky chair here okay what why is judgment here yeah they have regrets they're holding on to some regrets here right why is the world here okay too many why is the world here Queen of Cups. Okay, this person has always had feelings for you. They've never gotten over you.
they feel that they can they really hope that they can find that warmth again with you because right now it feels cold even though there is still that love it just feels like this this heaviness weighing over the two of you and this conflict this uh tower moment with judgment really needs to be worked out and this is saying you know they've had doubts in the past but they at their core at their deep within their heart they want to reconcile why is the tower here okay seven of cups they're confused i feel like this change this abrupt uh change left both of you in a state of confusion clarify the tower with the seven of cups the chariot yeah I really feel like this was holding you back this connection back they know that they know but now they've made that decision like this person wants to come towards you and make things right with you they're really hoping to make things right they want to start over this person loves you very much and they know it's time I feel like that that could also be honestly why that I was getting that message to tell you guys in the beginning about, you know, not worrying too much about fears because sometimes, you know, the desire uh, eventually will overweigh or outweigh the, the fear, right? And I feel like with that Eight of Swords coming through, talking about limiting beliefs, doubts, and fears, I feel like this is what's going on. Your person had fears. They still have a little bit of fears, but honestly, their desire is really outweighing the fears. All right, so let's see what their fears are. What is this person fearing about this connection? What are their fears? Eight of Wands. Six of Swords. The Sun with Leo. Four of Wands. <laughs> okay they're scared right now I'm seeing they're scared to move in the direction of their happiness and you know the happily ever after because I feel like they've always had this um vision of what it would be like to reconcile with you like that's been the main focus is uh making things right with you that they haven't really yes they have pictured their you know, being with you long term, committing to you and uh, moving forward. However, I feel like their mind really hasn't made it to, they really haven't thought long, long distance, long term. Like they know they want to commit to you. They want to be with you. But it's like, it's kind of like, okay, after this, after we reconcile, because this is like the main thing that they want to reconcile. This is the main hope. It's kind of like, okay, well, after this, what, what does life look like? What does life look like after I have my person, after I get my person? And it's that that scares them. I feel like they've been really wanting this reconciliation with you for so long. It's like that's all they know so <laughs> it's like okay what's on the other side of getting this of achieving this desire and let me know in the comments if you guys have ever experienced something like that where you're getting close to a certain goal or a certain desire or a, you know maybe a milestone with your person and all of a sudden you know you, you kind of get scared a little and uh it's I feel like it's usually because it's like, depending on how long you were focused on it, right? It's, it could be like, okay, well, then what's after that? So I feel like your person's scared of not so much, you know, getting the happily ever after here, but it's like, okay, what's on the other side? Like, what's next? So a little bit of scared of their own happiness. 
And I feel like the reason why they're also scared of their own happiness here and achieving uh, this reconciliation with you is because they had doubts that it may never happen. I feel like their fears, their limited beliefs were like, yeah, like group one's going to take you back. Yeah, like they want you back, you know, like planting those those thoughts and those doubts. Whereas now your person is really feeling inspired to move in the direction of you in this connection and this reconciliation and shifting the dynamic. So it's just about facing those beliefs. Okay, what else? What else are they fearing here? There's that little piece of them that allowed that fear to take over of the possibility of it not happening, which again is completely normal. I'm pretty sure we've all had that working towards some sort of a desire. Doesn't matter if it's a person or, you know, a career move or even like some sort of goal. It's normal. With the Queen of Wands, we have the Devil, the Fool, we have Capricorn with the Devil, and we have the Three of Cups. Okay. I'm getting that your person fears that them taking too long or them in their mind, they're taking too long. They're fearing that they may be too late, that you may have somebody else on your minds and that you won't choose them. Like you might be over this connection. You might not want them anymore. Um, they do see you as very desirable, like a catch, and this scares them. Like, having this new beginning, this fresh start, does, uh, does scare them a little bit because they're, they're worried that you may choose somebody else. That you won't want them anymore. But let's clarify further the devil. Clarify the devil. Wheel of Fortune. With the Wheel of Fortune here, this is telling me that this has been... A deep-rooted fear of theirs of not being not feeling chosen not being chosen that's um, yeah basically they're not gonna be chosen All right clarify the devil with the wheel of fortune I feel like they're working through this fear again I feel like they're gonna take action yeah so okay when this fear comes up your person shuts down they close themselves close themselves off they Again, this has come up multiple times in life of not being chosen. It could even be like, I feel like stemming from childhood. Um, but yeah, they've had a fear of addressing this fear. <laughs> does, that, does that sound, oh, that sounds funny, doesn't it? The way you say that. Okay. Okay. It's uncomfortable for them to address this fear, so they kind of, like, don't bother. And I feel like they're a little afraid to, they were afraid in the past to compete, but now I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune coming through, this is shifting. Like, they're ready to fight for what they want, even with that fear here. Like, they're ready to go to battle. They're ready to express themselves and what they want. All right, so let's get some oracle cards. Let's see how they're feeling about this connection. How oh, it's coming up for them. All right, how are they feeling about this connection? 
what feelings are coming up. Let's... We have surrender. Okay, so I feel like they're releasing releasing those fears. They're trusting that things will happen. We have boundaries. What else? We have spirit guides. Okay, so with boundaries here, I feel like they don't want to cross your boundaries. And with Surrender and Spirit Guides, I feel like they're kind of, they've made the inten intention to move towards you. Like, this is what they want. This is what they desire. And basically, this is what they're manifesting, either consciously or unconsciously. Uh, it doesn't matter if they believe in manifestation or not. It's, it's unfolding. You're, we're always manifesting. So your person, I feel, is like, okay, with boundaries here, they're like, you know what? I'm not going to force group one to reconcile with me. I'm not going to, you know, spam their their DMs or, you know, call them 50,000 times in two days. I'm going to allow it to unfold naturally is what I'm feeling. <laughs> with boundaries here, what I'm getting is they don't want to come across as like obsessive and crazy. <laughs> Which is why I'm saying, you know, you know, spam your inbox, spam your DMs, or call like 23 times in five minutes or whatever. Like your person's like kind of trying to trust here. Um, when is the right time to reach out to you? They do intend to reach out to you, I feel. I feel like they're asking for a sign. All right, so let's get some messages from your person. I'm going to grab some messages. I'm going to grab two different decks. I'm going to do like this bad boy here, this big boy, and this little one here. So again, I'm going to shuffle off camera. I'll be right back. All right, we're back. So let's see. I'm going to start out with these ones because they're a little bigger. I accidentally, well, I wouldn't say accidentally, but uh, we have, you broke my heart. So I pulled one extra is what I was meaning to say before I flipped that over. I meant to only pull four and you guys got five. So we have everything reminds me of you. So in some way you, they think you broke their heart. You're the one that did the heartbreaking. I have sexual thoughts of this. <laughs> it wasn't, uh, this wasn't going to go this way, but okay. Whatever. I'm just going to cover that up a little bit. Okay. They, um, they fantasize about you. You were my first love. Okay. Apparently it's six, not five, but that's okay. Yeah. Let's start over. Your words still haunt me. So whatever you said that broke this person's heart. It's still on their mind. All right. We also have compatible. What is that on there? Oh. I think my youngest was, had Nutella fingers here and was touching my cards. You have a beautiful smile. I have a lot on my plate right now. You feel like home. So I feel like they're telling you the reason why I haven't come forward yet is because I have a lot on my plate right now, but they do want to start over and they want to be more than friends. Addictions. We did have the devil come through and that could sometimes, um, talk about addictions. So this may be an, um, affecting this connection and it doesn't have to be like, um, substance abuse. It could be work related maybe they're numbing out like constantly rather than dealing with life they could have been like just numbing out binge watching movies like not doing anything um just letting their fears and negative thoughts run wild 
we have I needed to learn how to love myself yeah and I feel like they are learning to love themselves I feel like they're working through this if your person has addictions or have has dealt with addictions um, they're working through that I think I'm falling in love yeah I never thought about settling down until you came along and we have I moved on thinking we will never be together now I'm confused okay I feel like this is past energy because I was not picking up on that. Because I was picking up on they haven't been able to let you go. That could resonate for a very small percentage of you but honestly I really don't think so I want to clarify this actually because I'm getting there in love with you I moved on thinking see it's the, those thoughts yeah I was picking up on that earlier saying you know they had those doubts thinking it probably won't happen so you know they tried to let it go but they never let it go and they're all of a sudden thinking about you all the time, you know, seeing your name everywhere, having like intimate thoughts about you and wanting to be more than friends with you. And now they're confused. Okay. So this is, yeah, this is not with another person, but I will clarify anyways, because I said I was going to clarify it. So, <laughs> all right. Clarify. I moved on thinking we will never be together. Now I'm confused. Clarify this card. Jeez, the card of confusion. I am confusion. Okay. <laughs> All right. They're trying to work through this. Let's get one more. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, this person honestly has never let you go. Deep down, they had their fears, but they never fully moved on. All right. So that's what we have for messages. For signs, we have fourth house cancer. Cancer. Uh, Aquarius and geez Aquarius okay 11th house sorry 4th house Cancer Aquarius and 11th house so we have Aquarius and Cancer <laughs> oh I moved my little initial tiles out of the way so I'm just going to grab them quickly Trying to be very careful not to bump my tripod here. All right, we have C, E, I'm getting Cece, Cecile, Cecilia. Someone's last name could be career. We have blank. That could be anything. Sierra. We have O. T. P. G. E O S. Isn't that a lip brand? Like the little ball of uh, lip balm? 
Eos. I don't know if that's actually how it's pronounced. That's what I've always called it. This person, you may consider them Twin Flame. Uh, we have T, so T F T W S and N. So I am seeing Owen. Seeing Poet. I'm also getting song. I'm seeing songs or song. So I feel like they're listening to music. I'm also seeing the word soon. I feel like this person's going to reach out soon. Seeing the name Carson. Hmm, what else? Tessa, Peter, uh, Fran, Francis, Francesca, or Francisca. I'm also seeing Chris. Kristen, Christina. All right, I think I'm gonna leave it there. Ashton. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. <laughs> so that's what I have for you, group one. I hope you, this was helpful and uh yeah thank you so much for watching and i'm wishing you and your person all the best take care bye bye hey group two you chose the lapis lazuli with the mermaid tarot welcome all right let's dive in Starting out with your person's fears, or fears, oh jeez, hopes. <laughs> All right. What is group two's person's hopes? We're group two in this connection. I had to think of that for a second. I thought I said that backwards. All right. Apparently it's backwards day for me, which I feel like it's every day, <laughs> if, you've no if you guys haven't noticed. Okay. I swear I'm not always a mess. <laughs> okay, let's see. Group two person's hopes. We are starting off with the Ten of Wands. With the Seven of Cups. Okay, so a choice has been weighing on them. What is this? Nine of Swords. This decision has been causing some anxiety, some stress. Seven of Wands. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Eight of Cups. Oh good, there's a loud truck right in front of my house. Isn't that lovely? Just going to pause this for a second and let this person pass. All right. They turned off their vehicle. It looks like they're delivering furniture somewhere. So we'll see. OK, 
Okay, so we have the Eight of Pentacles. Three of Swords. My goodness. This is, maybe we should have started out with fears. Okay. Okay, when I first looked at this Eight of Cups here, usually I see, so the Eight of Cups can be like a spiritual awakening or moving on, like moving forward, um, doing some sort of introspection as well, and also moving towards your happiness. Now, I am noticing in this card here, it looks like this girl, mermaid, is leaving like this, uh, I want to say probably Prince love interest behind with all of these cups. Like she's walking away here. She's leaving it all, all behind. So we have the three of swords. All right. Somebody, I feel like your person has been in the past focused and emotionally invested elsewhere. It could be like maybe they were with the previous partner or it could just be something that's taking a lot of their time, focused emotions. It could be something at work even. But I feel like this is saying, the reason why I say another person too is because we have the Nine of Pentacles. Which to me is also like very single energy here. But your person's like making this choice and it's it's been a tough decision. But I feel like your person, because the Eight of Cups here, I feel like they're moving in the direction of their happiness. They're focusing, they're choosing to focus now on their happiness. I feel like in the past... Now, I feel like this really isn't, I feel like you're their happiness, to be honest here, because I feel like right now, wherever they're emotionally invested or is, like, is taking their focus away, I feel like your person's, like, closed off from this now. They they don't want to invest in it anymore because it's taking too much and it's, it's hurting them. It's weighing them down. Uh, I feel like the reason why they've stayed in this situation is because they felt an obligation to. I feel like they could have been pressured or it could just be their own thoughts pressuring them like oh you know how sometimes we make up excuses like oh I can't I can't do this yet because of this or you know I can't if they were leaving somebody like oh I can't leave this person now because they just had a bad day at work so I can't have that conversation with them um but yeah for some of you I feel like your person is leaving behind um, a third party situation or just uh, you know what let's clarify I want to clarify okay clarify the eight of cups knight of wands Okay, they're moving in the direction towards their, like, they're feeling, like, inspired to move in this new direction. Clarify the Eight of Cups. What is this? Where are they moving on from? Two of Cups. Okay. Yeah, they're moving towards you. They want you. Okay. Clarify this Ten of Wands. What is this Ten of Wands? What is this burden? What's burdening them? The moon. It's a subconscious fear. Um, okay, let's clarify. Ten of Wands with the moon. Nine of Wands. Okay. 
Yeah, for some of you, they could have been in another relationship that maybe felt they may have felt in in the past. I'm going to say in the past, they may have felt was the one, but it has fizzled out. I feel like they've given it all that they can or could have. Like there's no more left to give. Like it's it's becoming too much. It's stressing them out. There's like they have no more left in them if that makes sense so this person and i feel like this was something that was going on before you guys even unless you knew your person this entire time through this entire relationship or situation um i feel like your person's unhappiness was before you even showed up in this situation but i feel like in the recent past is when it really started to weigh weigh on them so they're wanting they're choosing to move in the direction of what they want of their happiness here okay clarify three of swords seven of swords okay yeah they're hurting it's actually this hasn't been easy for them but again, they're they're not happy. I feel like they've been hurt. I, I feel like they found out some sort of secret. Clarify the three of swords with the seven of swords. Queen of cups. Hmm. They're secretly in love with you. Could have been the other person found out about you. The other person secretly knows. So I feel like your person doesn't want to hold on to somebody and continue to hurt them. They realize it's not fair, so they're breaking free. And they're not happy. Like... Ooh. If you guys read tarot yourselves and you're seeing all these heavy cards, you guys know, like, oh, shit. Like, those are, <laughs> they're not, like, the, the the happiest of cards, a lot of them. So, yeah, they're choosing to move in the direction of their happiness. Okay, clarify the Nine of Swords. What is this anxiety? The Lovers. Um, okay, so they are, they, they stress out a bit. Um, okay, I'm going to get one more before I say anything. Clarify the Nine of Swords with the Lovers. Four of Swords. For some of you, it could be the, um... Mm, okay. So I was going to say before I pulled this that they're stressing out about moving in the direction of you. Um, I want to say first off, fears are natural. They're normal. They don't really have to mean anything unless we really focus on them and really give them a meaning. To me, I feel like it's really not such a big deal. We all have them. We all face them. It's okay. It's going to be okay. Uh, but okay, what I'm getting here is I feel like you and your person haven't spoken in a while. Like it's, we see here like this mermaid is frozen. Looks like frozen in a casket here. So I feel like your connection has been put on hold or it feels like it's been put on hold. Or maybe you even froze this person out until they got this resolved I also feel like it could be your person has felt like they can't come towards you quite yet until they resolve this um situation again could be work as well taking a lot of their time but I am getting like another person that they're not happy with and I feel like they haven't been happy with in a while
So they're they're a little bit nervous because it's a new situation, right? Even though it can be very exciting and they do see you as their happiness. They are in love with you and but at the same time they have nerves they're nervous it's okay all right sorry I just got an email there arms buzzing Okay, so what are their fears? Interesting hopes. Their fears. We have the five of pentacles. Okay. They're scared that you're going to say no. They're afraid of rejection. King of swords. Yeah, they're afraid that you're going to emotionally shut down and not be invested in this connection. Knight of Swords. This person's really in their head about their fears. The Tower. Jesus. Okay. We have Aries and Scorpio with the Tower. Oh, I've, we have uh, with the Lovers, Gemini. Did we have any other? The Moon, I believe, was Pisces. All right. Okay. They're afraid that it's not going to happen, which I feel like is a little similar to Group 1's message. But honestly, Group 1's message was, um, I want to say, lighter than this. So if this group is a little bit too heavy for you, um, energetic-wise, then I would check out, especially if you're not really resonating so much with the other like third-party thing, but you're resonating with... Um, your person being invested elsewhere, uh, something's taking up a lot of their time, and maybe it's been a while since you spoke. I feel like there might be messages for in group one for you. All right, what are they scared of? What are their fears in this connection? We have death, Scorpio. Well, we are in Scorpio season. The hermits, Virgo. Oh, boy. The sun, Leo, strong, a lot of major arcana coming through in the fears. Justice. How many major arcana we have here? One, two, like the entire bottom here. And then this one, five. We have five. Okay. Oh, jeez. Uh, I kind of want to, like, send out an energetic hug to your person here. Your person's afraid that... They're afraid of being alone. Um, and this is not saying that they're choosing you just to, you know, fill a void. No, they're choosing you because they're in love with you. And they want to be with you. But since uh, some sort of communication is a bit frozen here, or a bit like, I want to say not constant, that worries them, that stresses them out. Because they, I feel at times they don't know where you stand, what you're, where your head's at. Do you still want them? So they're scared that they're choosing happiness and, okay, they have a fear of getting their hopes up, is what I'll say, which is uh, quite ironic since we're looking at hopes versus fears. Um, but yeah, they're afraid of getting their hopes up. And you turning around and be like, eh, actually, no. Sorry.
Yeah, your your person's afraid of being completely devastated, having this loss. And they're afraid of being alone. The fear of, I feel like, not finding somebody, not finding the one. Being alone forever. Um, where is your person? I also feel like your person's a little bit of a homebody to begin with, like an introvert. So I feel like that also plays into... Their fear of loneliness is kind of like, well, I'm already introverted. How, you know, what if I'm meant to be alone for the rest of my life? Which I, so it's just a, a fear here, that, that fear coming through of being alone, being rejected, being alone, not finding the one, not being happy with the one. All right. Oh, yeah. So, okay. Your person, we see your person's going through a lot. They're, they're feeling a little bit energetically bogged down and heavy. So again, if this is too heavy for you, which I understand, um, I would check out group one and maybe there's lighter messages in group two. Personally, I, I wouldn't blame you for not wanting to choose this pile. And you don't have to take the messages just because you you like the crystal or the deck. It doesn't mean you have to. It's not forced upon you to take a message. And me personally, as somebody who likes readings myself, when I get really heavy messages in a in a group, I don't I don't pick them. And sometimes I just click a different group to be completely honest because it's like nope. <laughs> I know some people would disagree with that, like you can't you can't just choose, but yeah, I say, yeah, you can, why not? You don't have to take the heavy messages just because you were drawn to a crystal or a deck or a timestamp. There really are no rules, you make the rules. At least that's my opinion. Okay, so let's see what else. How is this person, how is group two's person feeling about group two? And this connection, how are they feeling? How are they feeling about this connection? Grounded. I feel you guys mean more to them than they let on. And this is why they are terrified. Why such strong fears are coming up. Because I feel like your person has emotionally invested a lot into your connection. And this, this is why the strong fears are coming up. We have spiritual journey. I feel like your person uh, may have embarked on some sort of spiritual journey because of this connection. I feel like they're doing some soul searching. Divine guidance. Yeah, your person, I feel like, is really asking for guidance when it comes to navigating their fears, navigating the situation, and moving towards their happiness. I feel like they, they have a lot going on, and they're really needing some help. And some support. So I feel like your person doesn't necessarily feel like they have support in this situation. Uh, we did have that seven of wands come through. And that's usually like somebody trying to defend themselves. So I feel like they may have some people in their life. Like after walking away from this, the whatever situation they're going through right now. I feel like other people are against their decision to walk away from it. Or walk away from that person. And so your person feels like they don't really have anybody on their side 
it could be especially like if you guys aren't really communicating at this time they even feel like they might be at a bit of a distance with you as well so they're stressed out so they're they're really asking for the universe asking their higher self god whoever they believe in for help for guidance support love all right so let's see let's get some messages i'm going to pause this and i'll be right back with your message cards all right guys i'm back so as i was shuffling i just i i got um britney spears's song from the bottom of my broken heart pop into my head uh specifically the chorus so that may resonate resonate it was love at first sight with me you know what that makes sense um just trying to think of the i know the lyrics because i know the song <laughs> you were my first love you were my True love or is it real love? From the first kiss to the very last rose. Yeah. Do you feel the same? Do you even think of me that way? So, okay. So your person's wondering if you still feel the same. If you love them, you have a beautiful soul. So they're worried it might be unrequited. I put all of my focus on my work so I don't have to face my shadow. Yeah, they could be like obsessively focusing on work right now. Are you still mad at me? So for some of you, you may have, they may have um, hurt you. We have reconciled. This person wants to reconcile with you. We have, you have no idea how long I've wanted you. I'm not interested in anyone else. I've been preparing myself to face you. I know I messed up and I feel awful. I can't imagine life without you and I don't even want to. Yeah, they, they're they worried that you're going to reject them. I'm ready for something deep and meaningful. And I feel like your person has experienced the opposite of deep and meaningful. They've experienced superficial um, connection, maybe just, uh, yeah, I would just say superficial, not very deep. I feel like they had certain expectations of love and relationships, and since meeting you, they've realized that, and I also feel like your person has had time to grow as well. We did have the hermit here in spiritual journey. I feel like your person could have realized something. And this whole experience that, huh, you know what? The the connection that I was currently in isn't what love is. I feel like your person is learning what love is. And they're now ready for something deep and meaningful. Where in the past, they've experienced in relationships the opposite of that. I'm sorry I can't talk right now. Yeah, we have, are your feelings mutual? Didn't we just have that? Do you think of me that way? So yeah, your person's really wondering where you guys stand, where you, what you feel. You are the last thing on my mind as I fall asleep. I have asked a tarot reader about you. Get to know you more. So they want to get to know you on a deeper level and they could have been, the two of you could have been getting to know each other on a deeper level and I feel like maybe you guys said, some of you could have been like, you know what, I can't go any further with you while you still have this other person. Maybe you felt it wasn't right. Um, so you could have stepped back and this person is releasing or they could have been in the midst of releasing an ex at that time. Or it could have been they were invested and they got to know you more and feelings unfolded, which happens. Um, and now they're choosing you. But I feel like, yeah, because they, we have a lot of them asking, like, how do you feel? They're asking, they're reaching out to tarot readers, psychics asking about how you're feeling they could even be on here on youtube watching readings trying to figure out how you guys feel about this connection okay. 
right, so let's get some zodiac signs. We have the eighth house, Scorpio. We have a lot of Scorpio coming through this reading. We have Taurus, first house, Aries, and Virgo. Virgo, Aries, Taurus, and Scorpio. Um, going back to, I know I messed up and I feel awful. I feel like your person doesn't entirely like the way things unfolded. I feel like your person wishes that things could have been different. Like they don't want to hurt anybody. They don't want to break anybody's heart, but at the same time, they're, they're following their heart. And I feel like this is why your person is feeling like they don't have support right now. It's because I feel like some people in their life could be um, shaming them and making them feel guilty for desiring you or wanting to be with you. I mean, it is unfortunate to hurt somebody, but at the same time, it's like, should they stay in the other connection while they're thinking about you every night? while they're falling asleep or should they be with the person that they want to be with and they're choosing their happiness which I feel if you're choosing your happiness yeah it sucks sometimes the way things unfold what the heck is that noise out there I don't know if you guys heard that but okay I don't even want to know <laughs> Some guy, <laughs> some guy moaning. So there you go. And now I lost my train of thought. Uh, yeah, yeah. Your person moving in the direction of their happiness. I feel like your person's not intentionally trying to hurt anybody. As long as we're not trying to intentionally be a jerk to other people. I feel like that's what matters most. We have ADA. We have T. We have N, Dan, Dana. I'm also getting um, Nat, like Natalie. We have Kat. So it could be Catherine, Caitlin, Kathy. We have E, Kate, Caitlin, V, Eva. Seeing Dave. Devin, Eve, with you, D, N, I, T, blank tile, there could be anything you'd like there. Another A, another blank, another A, I, I, and O. I'm saying dance. Somebody could be into dance. Saying Ava. Navi, all right, I'm going to leave it there. So that is what I have for you, group two. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope this was helpful. And I'm wishing you guys all the best. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey group three, welcome. You chose the Divine Tarot or Tarot of the Divine uh, with the Morganite. I believe that's Morganite. Let me know. Pretty sure it's Morganite. I can't remember. <laughs> All right.
right, so let's dive in and see your person's hopes. All right, so for group three, what are their person's hopes when it comes to them and this connection? What are their hopes? Well, just give me one moment. I have a child knocking at the door. All right, sorry about that, guys. Okay. And their hopes. We are starting off with the Seven of Wands. Three of Coins. We have the Two of Swords. The Eight of Wands. What are their hopes? Knight of Swords. Knight of Cups. The Empress. We have Tor uh, Taurus and Libra coming through with the Empress. With the Four of Wands. Okay. All right, so, okay, I want to clarify Two of Swords. Why is Two of Swords here? Clarify this, Two of Swords. Ace of Wands. Okay, so they're having a hard time here right now, trusting their their, uh, their intuition. I feel like they're trying to think, like, too logically here, where Spirit is asking them to trust their inner guidance, trust their, their soul with their... Um, I feel like they're also having a battle between the head and the heart, but this person is ready to come forward They're They are, they're wanting to rush towards you, like really wanting to make a move towards you here. Um, cause this person wants to be with you. They see you as the one they see you as you feel like home to this person and they want to come home. Is what I'm getting. And this person, Seven of Wands coming out here. And look at this. They have like, is that, what is that, a mallet? Like above their head. Like look at their facial expression. Like this person means business here. <laughs> like man, they, they're willing to fight. They're, okay, this person is willing to do whatever it takes to get to this Four of Wands with you. To get you. And I don't mean like obsessive stalker Joe Goldberg type we don't want that we don't <laughs> i mean there's one thing about obsessive thoughts and you know creep creeping someone's social media uh you know thinking that they're the most beautiful person staring at their photos or whatever that's one thing but you know we no stalker energy no stalker vibes here but yeah this person they want to fight for you they want to fight for this. This person wants to rush towards you. Um, they're a little bit confused. I feel like, honestly, the the reason for this, confu <laughs> this confusion is because this like sudden burst of, I got to do this, I got to fight for group three is what is confusing them. Because <laughs> I feel like they, somebody just like the universe came in, their higher self came in and just let a fire under your person under your person's ass and said, all right, let's go. No sitting around. No sitting around feeling sorry for yourself, waiting for group three, go out and get them. <laughs> so yeah, your person, they are wanting to come forward and pursue you, win you over, do whatever it takes. Break the silence. Communicate with you. This person wants to communicate their feelings. And you have... I feel like you have somebody here that is like... When they get... Uh, when they become focused on something... They may even have a Mars in Scorpio. Um, 
But yeah, when they're focused on something, they're really focused. Like they're hyper focused on this thing, which you are this thing. <laughs> so or this person feel like they are hyper hyper focused on their goals, their dreams, their desires, what they want. And I feel like they're not going to stop. Obviously, they would respect your boundaries if you didn't want them. But I feel like they're going to try and do whatever it takes to to get you to win you over, to get this connection with you, to end up with you. All right. So, I don't know. I feel like group three is usually the one where it's like most straight to the point. <laughs> what are their fears? Too many cards. What is this person's fears about this connection? We have the Page of Wands. The world. So distance could be an issue. We have the Queen of Cups. Page of Swords. Okay, yeah, they're uh, really curious about you. We have the Five of Coins. The Four of Cups. Okay, so they're scared of being rejected for one. We have the Three of Swords getting their heart broken, being rejected, and having their heart broken, which I feel like is a common theme in this reading. I, it's really not just for this group. If you're res resonating with that specific message, uh, group two might resonate for you, but honestly, I got to say group three, group two was a little heavy, a little heavier. You, you're at, this energy is lighter than group two, but if that specific message is resonating, maybe check out group two. And then we have the Queen of Coins. All right. I feel like your person has a lot invested in you in this connection. I feel like they have you on a pedestal. They're, they're really holding you high up. Um, they do have very wonderful things to say about you, obviously. But I feel like... At times it could be a little... I feel like they're, they're scared because it's like they're a little too invested here. It's kind of like, oh, I want... I'll stop at nothing to get group three. I want group three. I'm going to get group three, but at the same time, it's like they're scared of how much they want you. Like that scares them. So I feel like your person, not only are they afraid of being rejected, of getting their heart broken, but they're afraid of losing themselves in you, in this connection. Because they have you on this pedestal it's like you're this goddess who has or god um this person who has all these wonderful things to offer you have a lot of love to give um they even see you as like a healer in some way like you i feel like in some way it's like they see you as the source of their happiness which kind of freaks them out a little bit that's like they see it as maybe a little too intense they feel like they rely on you um on this connection unfolding a little too much in their eyes and i feel like this is why also there's a little bit of confusion here because they see you as the world and that freaks them out and it's like, but what if they break my heart? Then what? What do I do if my heart is broken? Whereas if they reject me and I get my heart broken. Which I feel like. 
that's really not something they should be focusing on here. But um, again, it seems very like a natural fear. And if you were to comment in the comment section saying, well, that's an obvious fear, honestly, I would completely 100% agree with you. Because <laughs> it really is. Um, I'm really not seeing anything unusual with their fears other than they have a lot of energy, a lot of feeling, a lot of desire, a lot of drive um, focused on you. And that scares them. The intensity of how much they want you, of how much they want this connection, freaks them out. Because I feel like your person may not have ever wanted somebody as much as they want you. All right. So let's get some oracle cards and see what else, what else they're feeling here. Okay, how is this person feeling about my group threes? Spring, springtime may be significant. Okay, this person wants a new start with you. We have illusion. Yeah, their fears are getting in the way. We have contact. This person wants to contact you. All right, let's see what the solution is. Something could have happened in the spring that they're um, overthinking about too. Why is illusion here? Ace of Cups. King of Coins. I feel at times they're wondering if the illusion is that they have enough to offer you. That they have, they see you, we had what, the Queen of Cups? Queen of Coins here, and I was saying that you have so much love and so much to give them, as well as healing. They don't see themselves. I feel like they doubt what they have to give you, and that's the illusion here. They think they don't have enough to offer. Just give me one moment. We're being interrupted again. Sorry about that. Really good. Put a sign on my door. Okay. So, yeah. Like I said, they have you on a pedestal. They see you as having all these wonderful qualities about you. And I feel like they do have the same qualities. It's just they're not seeing them. They're too clouded here. So it's kind of like they're afraid you're going to reject them because you don't see the same in them. But yeah, this person wants, uh, they want to contact you. For some of you, depending on when you are watching this, it could be in the spring. But if you are watching this, well, I don't know what season it would be on the other side of the world here. Um, but where I am, it's fall or autumn. So, yeah. Springtime could be significant. It could have been when you met them, when you had a falling out, when you stopped communicating with them. Could be the last time you communicated with them. All right, so I'm going to quickly shuffle up some message cards for you, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Let's see what they want to say. Made the mistake of having an iced coffee beside me instead of my water, so now it's making me even thirstier and dizzy at the same time. <laughs> Not good. All right. So we have, I can still feel you. So this person still energetically feels you. I pretend like I don't care, but it's an act. 
I want to take things slow. I'm trying to face my shadow. We also have, I will never give up on us. Yeah, definitely got that in their hopes, man. <laughs> Do you trust me? I can feel your energy pulling away from me. And we have, I can still feel you. So, yeah, I feel like you guys are definitely energetically connected for sure. Even if you're at a dis distance, doesn't matter. Energy transcends time and space. All right, so we have, do you get nervous too? So they do get nervous. And I feel like they also pretend they don't get, <laughs> they don't care because they don't want you to know how nervous they actually are, especially around you. Like I said, if they have you up on that pedestal, yeah, they're definitely nervous. We have twin flame. This could be your twin flame if you resonate with that. Okay, they've been cheated on before, which explains why they're a little nervous and... Where they're scared of being hurt. We have soul connection. So they are seeing you as a soul connection. Regardless of the label. We have I love your family. So you could have kids. They think your children are adorable. Or um, they could have already met your family. And just adore your family. We have I want to give you soft gentle kisses. Will you marry me? under your spell and the thought of reaching out to you gives me anxiety but they still want <laughs> they still want to reach out to you they just uh, have a little bit of anxiety there all right yeah I feel like this under your spell is because we have all these energetic cards coming through and especially like soul connection if they've never heard of the term twin flame or they don't know what a soul connection is I'm pretty sure like everybody has heard of a soulmate right um but if they don't understand anything deeper anything other than that I feel like they're feeling like they're under some sort of spell especially if they're feeling like they're picking up on your energy they might they're probably thinking that they're going crazy and i'm sure if anybody here has been on a journey like that where they're feeling connected to somebody on a deeper level uh when it's new or like even if you're embarking on a spiritual journey or you know trying to like heal deep dive whatever there is there are moments where you think you're going insane so um i feel like your person's like wondering like is something wrong with me like am i under a spell like what what's going on all right we have ninth house sagittarius we have taurus we have scorpio i'm pretty sure scorpio came through oh my god did i just oh boy oh geez i seriously i didn't even notice i shuffled your i shuffled group two's crystal oh my god okay i'll be okay all right <laughs> we have 10 10th house capricorn maybe it's time i lay off the iced coffee all right <laughs> Capricorn, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Taurus. Could have a Scorpio midheaven or a Taurus midheaven. Saying ear, so your ears could be ringing at this time. Maybe you're getting a sign. Your higher self is trying to talk to you, give you a, can't remember. There's like, I really can't remember what it means when like a right ear is ringing or a left ear. We have V, Z, M, L, blank, could be anything you'd like. We have A, J, A, J. MJ, we have F, it's fam, I'm saying fam jam, somebody could say fam jam, we have T, 
L N R V I'm hearing Vivian we have O E Lauren A Leanne A X Getting Raina Top. I'm also seeing Leia or Leah. Marin. Lena. Lenore. Taryn. Tana, Tiana, Jenna, uh, Jordan. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Okay, so that is what I have for you, Group 3. Thank you so much for watching, and I am wishing you and your person all the best. Thank you so much, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.